Welcome back to an FNA, and today is going to be part two of what should I animate? Part one was about an exercise list, and this time it's going to be about demo reel with examples of what you should be doing subjectively. Now there is a playlist about demo reels, do's and don'ts, and what I'm going to talk about is kind of an expansion of part one. Part one was a general do's and don'ts and analysis of Stefan's clip, which I highly recommend you watch. And today I'm going to follow up with a recap of that and more examples where I want to show animation examples in terms of humans and creatures and a bunch of stuff where I thought this is really cool and this might be a good guide for you in case you are now going from exercises to actually applying all your knowledge into a demo reel piece. And before I continue, you know what's going to happen here. Hi, my name is JD and I do animation lectures like these. I do animation analysis clips. I do acting analysis clips. I do rig reviews, proc reviews. I do a bunch of stuff. Feel free to check it out. Subscribe if you want to so you don't miss any of my uploads. And if not, that's also okay. Maybe I'll come into you later whatever you prefer. Had to bring in that little pitch as always. Now, just to recap, if you are now in the process of building a demo reel, the main thing is always put your best shot first. Don't expect people to watch the whole thing and bury your best shot towards the end as like the grand finale. Best shot comes first. Your demo reel also has to be short. It used to be two to three minutes for me way, way back. Now I would say a minute is pretty good. Even after 30 seconds, you get the idea of is someone okay or not. Let's say like a minute would be okay. And then of course, tailor your shots towards the company you want to work for. So what does that mean? A little quick breakdown, quick recap. Check your animation style, right? So if it's something photo real, it's not going to work for a feature animation company. So check if it's VFX, games, all that stuff, totally different styles and totally different content. So make sure that is already checked. Don't make it look like an exercise, right? So if you're a company that's about features, it's widescreen, you got more about composition, interaction with set, just again, what is the company doing? Kind of try to emulate that so you can show, hey, I can do what you do, hire me. So it's not just a character in the middle of the shot, lifting a, you know, a box and then that's it. Just kind of go beyond the look of the exercise. I'm not talking renders, I'm just talking the content and showcasing your creativity and the body mechanics complexity. And if you're doing performance stuff and you're picking audio, of course, make sure that the audio is something that's appropriate for the company you're working for. I also did something about audio, link in the description, or I'm blending in as always here. Now a bit more detailed, make sure that you showcase different skills in a variety and a complexity from shot to shot. Of course, you can combine that into one shot, but generally you want to show weight, you want to show pantomime, you want to show full body mechanics, you want to show performance in terms of lip sync, maybe a mid and also close up. And also within that performance, also contrasting stuff where it's something funny, something sad, so it's not just one note. So you don't want to do a reel where everything is kind of waist up, framed like this, and then that's the whole thing, right? So then you're missing out on full body mechanics for weight and balance. So basically each shot would be showcasing one skill. It's kind of cool when you take all of these combined, right? It could be a lip sync combined with weight, but make sure that you don't repeat yourself either. So if you have a really good weight shot, like a shot that showcases weight, that's it. Don't show three shots with weight. It's kind of repetitive. Again, people don't have time to watch the whole thing. Keep it short, showcase. I can do this, I can do this, I can do that. And the variety isn't just in terms of weight and acting, stuff like that. That, but it's also humans, gender, size, scale, creatures, just show that you can do humans, creatures, and objects. Like you are good at animating a bunch of stuff. And if it's more like towards the VFX, then also show that you can do camera work. Again, the demo reel is there to showcase what you can do so that the, the prospective employer goes, oh, that was pretty cool. It's not like every shot, it's gonna be, that's great, we need all of this. Sometimes it's just, oh, that was cool, but this especially is what we're doing right now for this project, let's hire this person. Now, all of this should be wrapped up in something that's fun to watch. I mean, it could be also sad, obviously, but something where where you can tell that the person had fun animating this. A great example would be Maya and the Three. You watch this, I finished this, it's great. It just seems like every frame just exudes fun and excitement and people just love doing this. And hopefully that's what you get from your reel as well. So your reel should be showing your personality, your sense of timing, just kind of who you are. So it's not a rehash of other shots you kind of see online. Like who is this person? That's cool. Then you get the interview and then it can evaluate you in terms of as a person, how you will fit into the team and so on. Now, that's a bunch of words. <laughs> Might not be super helpful. So I'm gonna show you some visual examples so you can kind of see as a reference. Oh, that's cool. And maybe it serves as an idea of what you could do. Of course, I will always plug my acting analysis of tips for animators playlist, because that's all about seeing something, taking that idea and doing something else with it. So if you want the general list of ideas for your shots, check out that playlist. I will always push for my playlist of that. Now, when it comes to visual examples, I highly recommend the 11 second club. So let's check out the current competition or the archives. The number one spots are really good and it gives you a general overview of the do's and don'ts. Like what has been overused, what kind of rig, what kind of set and so on. I also recommend the Anim Challenge. Check out their account. They have great challenges, great rigs, but also lots of tips and dissections, all kinds of shots. So this is also great reference of do's and don'ts and general inspiration. Then I would also go through the showcases of the different schools like Anim Mentor. The Adam School Showcase is also really good. Adam Squad hasn't updated in a while, but they still have a lot of really good stuff, so I would definitely still check it out. But my favorite channel for examples and breakdowns would be the 3D Animation Internships channel. It has so many tests and breakdowns and progression reels and before and afters. So go check out the videos, they upload a bunch, and it's so, so helpful. So this will be my number one tip. Check this out. This couldn't be a better reference for your demo reel. 
And generally, I wouldn't just look at what students are doing or interns, just look at what professionals are doing in terms of shorts as well. There's so much awesome work being released all the time. I talked about Sprite Fright before. You can see that opening shot analysis in a different upload. And it's awesome to see this whole thing now rendered and it's it's absolutely beautifully rendered. It's great. But in terms of animation, it's absolutely fantastic. I don't want to spoil too much by going forward and revealing what's going on but it's really good and again, serves as really good reference. So make sure that you check out what other people are doing, what is the current level, check out shorts, check out animation series on Netflix, wherever you can. Always kind of stay up to date in terms of what is the current quality bar. It's also helpful to follow artists, for instance, on Instagram, like Michael Woodside, he posts a bunch of stuff, sometimes animation tests as well, definitely check him out. And one of the examples is this one. Now it is a bit on the longer side, it's 45 seconds, I'll play it afterwards, but the reason why I like this is because here's an artist that said, this is what got me into, in this case, Disney, right? So when an artist posts a shot where you can see the usage of props, you can see a little bit of this, you can see how the character changes over time and actually analyze this clip in a different upload. It is really cool to see as an example of this is what I did and this is what got me into the company. So let's play this in full. And it doesn't always have to be something with a lot of sets and I mean, this uses props as well, but it can also just be a curtain and empty scene. And this apparently, the shot by Kevin, got him into Blue Sky. Well, let's play the full thing so you can see how awesome it is. No, I want to talk to you. You have been selected as the subject of my important person school essay. Shut up. Oh, don't tell me to shut up. Question one. I showed some of this clip in part one, but I want to show you why I included this, because if you listen to the audio, it's very old school with the sound quality, the music, and it's great that it's lit like this. It's black and white, has a bit of effects on top of that in terms of making it look like old footage. You can see some of the scratches there. So as you prepare your shot for your reel, think about the whole package. Again, lighting doesn't always have to be there. I know it's time consuming, but think in terms of presentation and going the extra mile in terms of how do I want to present this? How does it fit and how will I stand apart from all the the shots that people see on demo reels. So let's play the full thing. And if you fought, it wasn't after my head. Well, you're not really scared of my father. No. no. I am pretty scared of you. Oh, don't be. It was such a good shot. Same thing with this one. This one again uses props, has lighting. It's definitely more complex. You can see this here as the whole thing starts. But this is something where I was talking about to my students a lot in terms of effort, where like every frame is really pushed in terms of posing, in terms of the face, in terms of fingers. There's so much that's awesome in this shot. And I think a great example of how high the bar can be when it comes to demo shots. So let's play the full thing. Oh, oh everything about you is so terrible. And things don't always have to be super expressive with lots of singing and action. Things can also be a bit more quiet and a bit more focused on a subtle performance. So I'm gonna include this one and you can see the whole thing here on this website, but it's great because he shows the process of his reference, what it did in terms of blocking. It's also nicely lit, just as a general presentation, it's really nice and the animation is really nice and subtle. So let's play this one in full. Right now, there's sorrow, pain, don't kill it. I'm with it, the joy you felt. And I highly recommend that you go through existing shots, meaning existing from movies or TV shows, and analyze these. I love this one. I'm gonna turn off the sound and play like these just to quickly show you. So this will be your weight assignment. So when I talked about before that your shot shouldn't look like an exercise shot, this technically is a weight assignment in terms of pulling, and then you have a different kind of pulling. And then after this, you have a pulling of this kind, where he pulls her like that. And then you have another moment where he lifts her up like this. So if you play this whole thing in full here, that's what I would do in terms of your learning progress. Look at a shot in a movie, take that moment and analyze it. Why does this work? Why is it appealing? What are the characters doing? And you still get a lot of lip sync in there, full body weight. Of course, the render is really nice. 
but make sure to check out what our professionals doing. I highly recommend that you also look at character tests. So any type of animation tests that people do before their movie starts, it's also a bit looser, also a bit longer, but really focuses on the animation and body mechanics. And you can see here in all of these, it's basically a sit down assignment. Now, I also talked about this shot in my previous clip, but I always bring it up. It's one of my first examples to show to the students because I tell them do a sit down. And those are really difficult to do depending on how far you want to go, but they don't have to be boring. You can see that there's a lot of contrast in these. How do they interact with the sets, with the props? How do they sit down in terms of the speed of it? Are they tired? Are they excited? You can see here, there's so many different examples. This is a longer one. So check the full thing out. Lots of contrast. I love her. I love how she gets in with the legs here ready and boop, so great. And you can also go really, really broad in terms of I'm sitting down. But then after that, there's still something that happens where I can go a bit bigger in terms of mechanics and weight. So I love this example and definitely something to look out for in terms of inspiration. And this is why it's great to look at internship reels, because you can see they go from objects to another object to a bit more interaction with that object to walks and a bit more character driven walks. I love this here that it goes through the whole set, different kind of personality walks. And I love this here. <laughs> Such a great example. Also, great show of weight here. Arrgh, when he does this, and he continues with lip sync. And I especially love this one just because it incorporates everything in terms of props and sets, how a character gets revealed in the back, how this character has to interact with the set and the props. It's just an overall really great example. So again, look out for internship reels and progression reels that people have done for the companies. And actually, let's play this one with sound in full. Wow. Uh, nothing. Nothing. What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? And so, what do you do with all this? Yeah, well, I'm not really supposed to talk about it. Amazing. Now, what you shouldn't be doing is copying reference like this, or even copying animation, especially. But this is something that is good to learn, where you want to look at mannerisms and movements. But please do not do this here for your demo reel. Do not copy existing performances. Make sure that you are as original as you can be. Now, it doesn't have to be just for humans. This is a great test with creatures. So let's play this one in full. My name's Blue, like the cheese. But there's no mold on me. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. So make sure that when you go through demo reels, that do not only look at humans, look at what they've done with creatures. And Blue Sky has done so many movies with creatures. The, the amount of original acting choices and mechanics and push animation styles is so great. So really make sure to check out this whole reel. I'll put the link in the description. This is the longer reel, so I'm not gonna play the whole thing in full here. I mean, you can also mix things, right? You can also do humans with creatures. And you can see how this continues here, where it's a bunch of stuff where the creature kind of behaves like a dog and then goes back to being a horse so obviously you can mix and match this would be a great example of okay well what can i do to do a bunch of stuff in one shot creatures humans full body lip sync because this would be a great example of a mix of everything so it doesn't feel like this is an exercise shot that a student would do and let's go back and play the whole thing in full oh he's nothing but a big sweetheart <laughs> isn't that right maximus you've got to be kidding me <laughs> look Today is kind of the biggest day of my life. And the thing is, I need you not to get him arrested. Just for 24 hours. And speaking of creature shots and then adding lip sync, this, I think this clip I've shown is, I don't know how many uploads of mine. I'm gonna show it again, this time with sound here in full because it's so good. I love this and a great example of not having a set. It's purely just this character, kind of waist up, but it's so appealing. So I do want to show it again because I love it. We were having an argument one day. He was saying he was hungry. I was saying I was hungry. He was saying I eat more. I was saying that's just rubbish. I eat a lot. And he was like, well, I'm a guy. And then that that was the end of it. Now, if you do want to combine everything in terms of creatures and sets and sounds and everything, this shot I'm going to play in full afterwards is a great example of everything. as camera work, humans, creatures, interaction. There's a bunch of stuff in there and a really good showcase of how you can combine everything into one really cool shot. So let's play this one in full. And again, look out for variety. So this is a creature that's is a test from Zootopia by Shofu. It's really great because it has creature moments and sometimes they move in terms of how the tails move or little things like this. But generally, it's definitely more stylized and play the whole thing afterwards where you can see how it plays with 
is <laughs> such a great moment there with a bunch of stuff. So again, in terms of demo reels, you need to show variety. So this is something that is full on, just like a creature. We're going to blend in this clip here, which I love where it starts off kind of like a horse. I mean, it does sniff already like a, like a dog, but it has a bunch of things combined, especially really, really appealing timing. I always love this shot and I always show it to my students. This is a great example of really fun timing in terms of a creature shot that's stylized. Or you can do a shot like this that's technically a creature, but it's basically a human performance. I am but a humble gato in search of his next meal. Perhaps you gentlemen can help me find a simple score. And I'm gonna come back to this one, which I'm gonna play afterwards. But again, you wanna show a variety where you have creatures that move like creatures, creatures that move a bit more stylized, super stylized. So again, your demo reel should be a showcase of a bunch of different styles so that you can show all the different skill sets you have. And if you want to be more ambitious, you could also do a full sequence like this. This might be tricky for a reel because it's kind of long, but in this case, it shows creature work, it shows human work, it's full body mechanics, there are flight mechanics as well. There's a bunch of stuff included here, so that could also be something to consider if your reel isn't too long already. So maybe you could do something where you break this up, where it's maybe something like this shorter, and then you have that as a cool moment, and maybe this like this, where you can show a bunch of stuff combined. But again, this is definitely extra level. So it's not just a character in empty scene, just standing around doing not much. This is a really great example of a bunch of body mechanics and flight mechanics in one. I'm playing this backwards here. Now, as you saw, this was a lot of animation examples with humans and creatures and stuff and nothing with games. With games, I don't work in games. I really have no knowledge. I watch a bunch of stuff and I hear things and it's cool and I'm kind of super surface level. I wouldn't say knowledgeable, we're not gonna go that far. But if you wanna know more about games, I highly recommend you go to Harvey Newman's channel, check it out. It's all all about games and also more so check out his channel it's really good i know this upload is a bit on the longer side but i wanted to include the full length of all those examples so you don't have to go and look for the link and hunt for that clip and blah 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 so this upload serves as a reference guide in terms of this would be cool to emulate to be inspired by and so on now if you want to stay up to date on examples and shots that are really cool i highly recommend selfishly my twitter just go to the likes the likes are not just things that i like but it's kind of like a bookmark of all things animation and if you're too busy for that my animation minute covers that as well or that youtube channel i referenced before that has so many breakdowns and examples Example is such a great resource for industry shots and internship shots and just something you should always check out. And speaking of checking out, if you haven't checked out yet, <laughs> because it's a longer clip, if this was helpful and you want me to help you with your shots and make your shots even more awesome, you know the page. I have workshops. You can sign up at any time. Link in the description with all the information. So let me know. Email me. Let's talk. Let's see if I can help you. And other than that, thanks for watching till the very end. If you're still watching. I always appreciate the patience. And that's it from me. And hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.